Hello everyone, good morning and welcome to my channel Zen Within Me. Today's reading is going to be a general reading for Taurus Sun Moon Rising. Okay, so just wanted to let you guys know a couple of things before I get started. I'm going to have a Black Friday sale on Black Friday only, 30% off my Teespring store and my ZenWithinMe.com store. I have some of that info down below. And then I'm also merging both of my YouTube channels together. Um, so in order to get you to participate with that, I'm having a giveaway for November. So I'm going to be giving away five three-card readings. And all you have to do to participate is make sure that you're subscribed to this channel and then go to my other YouTube channel, Zen Within Me Homes, because I'm also a realtor. So if you have any needs or anything like that for buying, selling, investing, anything like that, I work throughout the entire country. So I have my info there. I have some homes that I posted there. I specialize in new builds, but I can help you with anything anywhere. Okay, so just go over to my other channels and within me homes and make sure you subscribe to that channel and then comment on any video giveaway so I can put you down in the giveaway. Okay, so let's get into it, Taurus. Guides, guardians, ancestors, and angels, please give me clear and concise messages for Taurus, sun, moon, rising. Okay, what is going on with Taurus, sun, moon, rising? What does Taurus need to know at this time? What messages do you have for Taurus at this time? Okay, please continue to protect us, watch over us, and guide us always. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mommy's filming, no barking. Thank you. Yeah, that was London, guys. I know a lot of you are already familiar with the male husky Anubis. London's a lab pit rescue. Okay. Taurus, sun, moon, rising. What messages do we have for Taurus, sun, moon, rising? What do they need to know at this time? Ace of Wands. Okay. Some of you may be involved in a passionate new beginning. Last shuffle, any other messages for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising? What do they need to know at this time? Okay, that's it. So it's, the focus is the Ace of Wands. This week I've noticed that's been happening with a lot of the readings. The Tarot is just giving out like one card, one focus point. Okay, so the Ace of Wands. Could be a passionate new beginning in somewhere in your life. It doesn't have to just be love. It could be something career. It could be a new passion for life, a new lust for life. Okay, so if you feel that you've been maybe um, not living up to your potential or you've just been kind of in a blase mood, you may feel like, okay, I'm going to take life by the horns and ready to go and, and tackle it. You may be doing something more creative. You may feel more inspired. Okay, um, so like I said, it's not just a passionate new relationship with someone romantically. It could be within yourself to enjoy your life more. Okay, so let's see. And this is Anubis, guys. Hello, baby. What other messages do we have for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising from the Crystal Oracle deck to? It's a beautiful day here in Florida. And it finally got cool enough to open the windows, and they're loving it. <laughs> Originally from New York, if anybody wanted to know. Queens! Okay. Okay, last shuffle. Any other messages for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising regarding this reading? Any messages, guidance, advice, clarity? Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so one more shuffle if that's a communication. Okay. So for some of you, this could be communication in regards to a passionate new love relationship. So you will be talking with someone soon, or it could be somebody that you've already been talking to and things are about to get hot and heavy. Okay, it could also be someone from your past communicating with you that they want to start fresh. Or it could just be you communicating more with yourself 
to say, okay, I need to start doing more things. I need to, you know, start getting my butt out there, enjoying life and stuff like that. Communicating with friends even to make this happen. Okay, and if it's something that's more career oriented or just uh, if you're a very creative person, you're just more in tune with yourself and your guides to communicate more outwardly what it is that you want and need. Okay, then we have fertility here. Okay, so I'm just going to read that because I know that there's other meanings and I cannot remember. Let's see. Okay, so here we go. Fairy stone, sacred stone of magic and good luck. Okay, enhances fertility, assists in healing trauma created in the womb, offers protection, and then brings good health and prosperity. Okay, so for this, I'm feeling more good health and prosperity. You're protected and the sacred stone of magic and good luck. So you have all these good things that are coming your way with this new beginning. Okay, you're fired up. You're ready to go. And this is really going to lead you in the right direction. This I see this as being a very good, healthy move for you. Okay, last shuffle. Any other messages for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising regarding this reading, please? Okay, that's it. Thank you. Okay. So let's see what messages we have for you from the Archangels and the Animals, Taurus. Okay, what messages do we have from the Archangels and the Animals? on the floor over here. Thank you for that. Okay, starting off with Giraffe, which says, aspire to higher knowledge and wisdom. Archangel Jophiel. Yes, higher knowledge and wisdom. So, it, it broaden your horizon is what I'm getting from this. Okay, get out there. Enjoy your life. Learn more. Do new things, you know. Be exciting. Okay, snake, live according to your divine essence, the elemental kingdom. Yeah, I feel that there, there is so much more waiting for you out there, but you just have to take the plunge, you know, just say, ah, screw it, go out and have a good time. Sheep, act with fortitude and cooperation, Archangels Gabriel and Hope, right? Yes. Okay. With this, I'm getting maybe um, sheep and cooperation. Like maybe you should go out with some friends more often. You know, make some plans to travel or something with some friends. Because sheep are usually in a group. And cooperation it means there has to be more people involved to cooperate with, to plan something, you know. Kingfisher, be patient and focused. Archangel Bhakti. So whatever it is that your heart's desire is, just be patient. It will come in, but in the meantime, you need to enjoy your life. you got to get out there, do things differently. Because you know what, guys? The fact of the matter is, before you know it, it's all over. And then you look back and go, I didn't do shit. Or I, I have this bucket list, and I barely did anything on it. I could have done more. And then we have the coulda, woulda, shouldas, but you can't go back. So you might as well just go. Like Tracy Owen would say, go. She'd say go home, but... Just go, go, go out there, have fun. <laughs> Rhinoceros, be strong and courageous. Archangel Sandalphon and Rochiel. So yes, be courageous, go out there, live your life, enjoy. I feel that some of you feel that you've been locked up for a while, always trying to, you know, do the right thing and be the right person and please everyone and help everyone, but you haven't really had the time to just take care of yourself and just do what you wanna do without worrying about everyone else. So now is your time. That's the message here. Now is your time and it will work out fine. Do you, boo-boo. It's all good, it's fine. Okay. I'm actually not feeling any initial cards this time around, but I am feeling the Moonology deck. So let's see, what do we have going on here for you? Taurus. 
Taurus Sun Moon Rising. Not shuffle. Okay, what's going on with Taurus Sun Moon Rising? Regarding this reading, please. Okay, we'll go get that. <laughs> We have don't let your past hold you back south node so yeah don't let your past hold you back so like I was just saying if you're used to being in that position where you always have responsibilities and you always have to worry about others that's your past you don't let the past version of you hold you back be the new version of you okay Feeling for some of you, the new version of you that wants to break out is somebody that's just creative, passionate, and exciting. And I feel for some of you, you don't even know that person, which is why you may be afraid to go forward and do that. Because it's like the, the, the inner you that you always wanted to let out, but you had to bury it for so long to, you know, be there for everyone else. That now that you actually have the opportunity to let it out, it scares you. And that, that's understandable, but don't be afraid. Take time to breathe out, okay? Yeah, just woo-saw and all will be well, okay? It is your time. Okay, so that is all I have for you, Taurus. Uh, thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, all that good stuff. Please check out the description box below for other things that I mentioned and other things that I did not mention. Uh, peace and love, and I will see you in the next reading.